Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.4445. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft has added a new thing to the navigation pane of the File Explorer and whenever you are right clicking on an item in the navigation pane for example a desktop you're going to notice that you're going to have the new option to select new and then folder and this will create a new folder for example in this case on the desktop so this is a new addition in this build this has been a thing in other preview builds for windows 11 but this is now added to the beta channel another new thing that microsoft has added in this build is something related to the start menu and this was discovered by phantom of earth on twitter so make sure to check him out for more hidden features like this and that is the ability to sh directly share a file from the recommended section of the start menu if you right click on a file you're going to also have the option to share so you can select that and the share section will appear with all the options and i think that is pretty interesting and that is also the case for files that appear in the jump lists in the taskbar so for example if i hover over a, a pinned app that has jump lists on the taskbar you're going to notice that i have the paint app and i recently edited a file here as you can see we have the recent section there and when i hover over it we're also going to have the option share this item so as you can see, we can now have the same menu where we can share this file directly from the recommended section of the start menu or from the jump list of the items in the taskbar. These are some nice small changes related to the file explorer, start menu and taskbar. So I think they are pretty welcome. Let's now talk about a few fixes. For example, related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed a few issues impacting explorer.exe reliability in the latest flights related to the taskbar, including an issue impacting some insiders, which could cause explorer.exe to crash sometimes when right clicking apps in the taskbar. They also fixed an issue issue on secondary monitors for left aligned taskbar users where the widgets text in the taskbar might overlap the date and time. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed the issue where the time and date properties of files were unexpectedly updated in some cases after copying them. They also fixed an issue where the details pane icons weren't responding correctly to theme changes, making it hard to see if you switched from dark to light or vice versa. They fixed a black flash in file explorer that appeared when duplicating a tab. Also, they made a change to help improve performance of context menu launch and file explorer navigation. And they also fixed an issue where when you did a search, it might unexpectedly trigger the search happening repeatedly. And we also have another fix, fix an underlying issue which could cause result in snapping tool screenshots being distorted on certain displays. So this is pretty much all there is to it in the latest beta channel build. This is a smaller build, but I think it's pretty interesting with the new additions and new fixes that Microsoft has added. For more information, you can always check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jimmy from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.